Good morning. Hello, hello, Pierre. Nice to see you. So we've been in touch uh, quite quite a lot. We've interviewed each other before, but in French. Now the news is that you are launching your website, uh, your YouTube channel, and your book in English. Tell us yes. a little bit more about that. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Piero, to to uh, to invite me on your channel. Uh, so let me introduce myself uh, just a little bit. So. <laughs> My English is not very, very good, but uh, I promise you that I will improve as I'd, uh, and that uh, this book has been translated by a professional. <laughs> so, um, and the videos uh, that uh, I have made uh, are uh, in full English. Uh, some are in full English, some others are not. But personally, uh, okay, uh, I'm French and um, I've written uh, a book. Uh, the Hyper Goreans Against the Empire. I have launched uh, some YouTube channel and Pagans TV especially. And so um, this is the purpose today to to present uh, to to your uh, followers uh, in uh, in the world uh, my work. Uh, it's about uh, to strengthen your mind. It's about uh, to become a Viking of modern time by using uh, the real history uh, by uh, I still die in fact um, really uh, with a, uh, a smart look at the past and the way of life of our forebears and um, so uh, I um, um, I explain uh, who uh, rules the world today and how in the past also there is they um they they had uh, they have done to rule the world uh, i mean uh today it's quite a female society but this um this, this work uh, to 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 attack the the, the virile men the, the the man the man on the manly way this work uh has been uh started for a long time uh to me it has started with the Roman Empire. This is my analysis. And uh, the real spirit of the, the real barbarian is a pagan barbarian. And uh, so it's about this ancient uh, culture, uh, this ancient way of life. And I have made a lot of uh, discoveries and I make um, a lot of revelations in this book. This is why uh, it's, it has been translated in, in English to, to share with the whole world. Now that the, the, the French people are, have already... Uh, Actually, we don't written. see the book. You should, yeah, we sh you should put it in the center. Actually, I've read the book in French, and it was very interesting. It tells the story about uh, the origins of uh, European people and uh, why, in your opinion... Uh, paganism is the, or first of all, the original culture of Europe, the original, uh, not more than religion, culture, but also why uh, it means for today a way of life, uh, both spiritual, mental, but also physical. In fact, I want to tell my, my readers, uh, my, my, the people watching us, that uh, if you know the golden one uh, and how he works, he works out and, and he, he pushes the same thing. And you, Oleg, you're also pushing the same idea of having a mental fitness as well as physical fitness. And in today's world, both are very difficult to have. I, I asked people to, to watch your channel. You're quite a physical, uh, you're quite fit physically, right? You do a lot of, a lot of fitness. Yes, I'm quite good um, at fitness and at, uh, at sport in, uh, in general. Uh, but it's on uh, my other channel, uh, Les Priviking. Uh, and uh, yes, um, I'm uh, I'm a little bit like uh, the golden one. I enjoy a lot uh, its videos, uh, but uh, I am a real uh, pagan. I mean, and I, I am really um, my specialization. Yes, specialization is about the the forbidden history, the forbidden archaeology, also, um, and in the fitness. Um, I uh, I practice uh, several sports. Uh, 
uh, I launched uh, on my other channel the, the 12 works of Oleg. Yes. So it's, um, I try to, to promote the Olympic uh, spirit from the Hellenic uh, Greece, from the famous uh, philosophers uh, Pythagore, Platon. Uh, I like this spirit, this um, Olympic spirit. And uh, to me, in my opinion, this, it's the same spirit that had our forebears uh, of the, the whole Europe, including, uh, of course, the Vikings, the Gauls, the Gaulish, the Celtics, uh, the, the Slavics. To me, uh, this spirit, this um, way of life is, uh, I call it the Hyperborean uh, culture, because uh, to me, uh, Every Europeans have a common root that comes from the north. So uh, I think uh, Goldor One would be uh, happy to 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 learn it. And uh, yes, it's a um, it's a in my book it's a really a work of um, looking for the real history. Uh, at first, um, I think the, the official history is not uh, really the, the truth. The truth, sorry. So. Um, it's really about uh, the ancient world revelations uh, about the former builders also uh, uh, Egypt and its uh, pyramids uh, the, the, the Pharisians the Roman church secrets the Goths, the Vikings, the Templars the Freemasons uh, Sully society uh, I am um, I've written about uh, everything in fact so it's uh, this book is a um, it's a synthesis. It's a, a a small pack, but I try to 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 give you a, 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 another world world view uh, by understanding the the way to me the way the the power uh, has uh, has been uh, uh, took uh, in different hands. I'm sorry for my. <laughs> Four level in English, but I mean it's about who was the world today and who was yes. the world uh, in the past. In fact, today what what you say in the book, and and I think it's uh, important for us all, and this is why it's important for us survivalist people or prepping people, is that the empire is the globalist today. It's the people yes. who want to make one world government, who want to rule the whole world with the same uh, rules which are not the, the native rules of all the people in the world. And yes. this is not about uh, just uh, fighting for Europe and Europeans. We also want to fight so that Africans fight for Africa, the Asians fight for Asia, the Indians fight for India, so that everyone can keep its culture, its original roots, and yes. uh, the element that makes them unique. So... Uh, the empire today wants to make us all the same, all consumers, and they want us to make all mixed so that there yes. will be no race, no culture, no intelligence, no skills, and they alone on the top will be unique, and they alone uh, will keep uh, not mixed, not uh, stupid by education, and, 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 and therefore rule over us because they will be de facto sort of superior. And um, so it's kind of a genetic programmation on the global scale. And uh, what you say in the book is that if we f work to be go back to our roots, whether our roots are Hellenistic or Celtic or Scandinavian and so on, um, we can go to our real selves and become very strong again. Strong mentally because we know who we are and therefore we can be strong physically because we have the, the, the mental strengths instead of consuming and eating shit and McDonald's and stuff like that, we focus back to be healthy and fitness. And if yes. you're healthy, you will have a family because, uh, you know, a man like a healthy woman, woman like healthy man, therefore they are attracted, therefore they have children, the children will be healthy and so on over generations. Yes. And this is a way to change the bad process that has been happening for the last century or so yes and this uh <clears throat> this ancient culture i probably in culture contains everything for us so revivalist uh 
to be independent, fully independent. You were talking about health, but um, to uh, to be to get healthy, the the ancient culture uh, gives you a lot of uh, of tips to 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 get uh, to get fit. Uh, I mean, if you are here, uh, there are a lot of um, of uh, not vegetables. Uh, uh, they plant, uh, yeah, they plant uh, vegetables and, and, and vegetables, plants. yeah, or grass, uh, you know, uh, natural. Um, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> vegetarian food, yeah, and you, you can uh, get healthy with uh, simple things, yeah, that are already uh, available in the nature, so uh, it gives you uh, an independence to. To, for all you, all your needs, uh, all what you need is in this culture, and um, so I am also going to study that fact about the health, how to to get healthy with natural things, and um, you also have tips, uh, for example, to uh, when you are in a in a survival survivalism so survivalism. Um, Sorry, yeah, environment. Next. Yes, uh, you have some tips uh, for a lot of things. In fact, for example, the Vikings were in their uh, in their mind uh, the life, uh, they, their way of life. They have to get the more independent as possible. So they have a lot of things to uh, to tell us in this culture. And uh, so I I promote this culture. Through my my channel Pagans TV and through, of course, this book. But also in this book, what uh, um, I explain uh, is about the way um, the elite, uh, the people who rule the world. Today, you know, uh, Pierre, uh, that uh, they try to make people weaker uh, with the female uh, culture. Uh, uh, for example, they call you a misogynist or they call you a racist if you like your words. Uh, they have a lot of, uh, they attack us, they, they point the finger at us. Yeah. But, but you, you have to know that, um, they did the same, uh, to our forebears. I mean, uh, in the past time, uh, the same people, that ruled the, that ruled the world at the time, uh, have pointed the fingers uh, at our forebears by calling them a pagan or an heretic or a sorcerer. Uh, it was it was all about um, the new culture at the time was a Christianity, and uh, uh, in that case, I am. Um, I'm closer uh, to Varg Vikernes. Uh, I agree with him that Christianity has been something to erase this former culture, this uh, pagan barbarian culture that made us real men, real women, uh, real people, in fact. And uh, to me, the, the first step to this uh, leftist ideology to this weak, uh, weak modern man today, the first step has been Christianity that have erased uh, this uh, former pagan hyperborean culture by calling our forebears uh, pagan, heretics, uh, sorcerer. And today it's uh, racist, it's uh, misogynist, it's homophobic. Uh, but it's the same way, and it's um, it's nice to understand this to see. Uh, all the history of past uh, to get back to the real roots, the real way of um, the best way to me uh, of thinking of uh, the best worldview to be fully independent, to be um, um, to build also a new world. Yes, to build a new world because in, with that culture and that was, that's also the purpose of survivalism. Uh, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's to be independent and to be able to do uh, everything by yourself. Or I mean, that your community, 
uh, could be uh, independent of uh, the state. The state, sorry. Yep. No, for sure. The, um, this is how to break the, the cycle of enslavement. We, we are today um, brought down into a, a vicious circle where we consume, we want stuff that we cannot afford, therefore we have to be enslaved into uh, salary work, and we have to get into debt, and therefore we eat, uh, we eat bad food, and we, we need to work, and, and so we're back, and, and it gets worse and worse, because only the very smart people, or the more lucky people, they can manage in this circle to stay on top, but most people go down, down, and as we see, every new generation now, will be on a lower level and, and, uh, of, of, of health and wealth and enslavement. And if you change, the only way to switch is to say, no, I want to be free, therefore I need to be independent, therefore I need to be with no debt, I need to have low consumption so that I don't need the money, and therefore you are reversing. And as we said before, with the strength of the mind, the strength of the, of the, the body, and also to get rid of all these... Um, uh, culpability that uh, yes in some part the catholic the catholic and christian uh, belief systems uh, has put into us but also the fact that we have to say well look we own our history and we don't accept that foreigners tell us wh what we did right and what we did wrong and even if we did something right it's not us it's our it's sometimes in the past so we will not accept anymore any culpability and we will not accept a foreign invasion of our lands the lands of our ancestors and we will not accept uh, this enslavement and so we can change as, as individuals yes first, this is uh, and then as society said. yes in fact uh, the, the elites use the the guilt the they want us to feel guilty of everything um, the Christian uh, ideology uh, make people guilt of uh, an original, uh, you know, uh, péché, uh, sin, an original pitch, Sorry, original and sin. And today we are uh, we are guilt uh, because of, uh, we should pay back to the the foreigners coming from Africa, for example, <laughs> and so we have to get out from this and. The Vikings are the best example to me of people that have uh, revolted against the, the power because when the power from the state is um, is too too hard with people is uh, when it it's not um, fair people have to stand to stand up. And the Vikings, uh, when you study this uh, really well, you see that it's um, some people that come from, of course, the north, from Europe, but when they arrive to go to France, if you want, a lot of girls have uh, joined the Vikings. I can tell you that today I have an explanation why the Vikings have been successful, though, though there were uh, very few, because uh, a lot of people joined them, including uh, the local people. For example, in France, in Gaul at the time, a lot of, of, of Gauls have joined the Vikings because they were fed up of this uh, slave enslavement system with the Roman church and Roman unique thought. And so they wanted also to go back to the ancient culture um, to, to get free again, to become free again. And it's, uh, it's really true because I have, um, I, I will talk about this on Pagan's TV, so don't miss. But uh, it's, it's starting to be recognized by famous philosophers in France, like, for example, Michel Onfray. It's a famous philosopher that has a, a mainstream view. Yep. So it's important. It's not nothing. But why the Vikings can, uh, could take a, a big port, a big town like Nantes, uh, because the, the, the doors was open, were open. And now we know that the people that opened the way 
for the Vikings were the locals. So it's um to me it's a great example that we have to follow because it was uh, an international revolt. You you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, tell me if uh, if if I'm wrong because my English is very poor. And it, to me, it's a, it's a, this is also why uh, you know I am I, I am taking this uh, little risk to 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 speak English to to go uh, talking to the whole world uh, today because uh, the Vikings uh, inspired me a lot because it it is a an international revolution um, made by the free men by the the virile men with the, that understand the problems that have the, uh, that are courageous enough that are brave enough to struggle against this empire. To me, this empire means when the power uh, and the elites are too hard, are really unfair with people, are enslave, enslaving people. People have to to struggle. And uh, the Viking, uh, this is why the real history of the Viking is hidden today again. Uh, because, in fact, uh, the elites don't like this because the Vikings have won. And the Vikings, it was a unity between the people from Gaul, from Norway, from Denmark, even from England, from the whole Europe, with Germans and Gauls that were really friends at the pagan time. When you we talk about the the, the World War One, World War Two, incredible to to learn this. But it was uh, the ancient times, the ancient ancient story culture, and the ancient men. So uh, to me, we have to inspire from the barbarians uh, from Scandinavia, Scandinavia, also the barbarians and from Germany that have. Uh, been helped a lot also by goals. <laughs> this, is, this is also not very well uh, known, but uh, a famous author in France, uh, the son of um, uh, Georges Dumézil, the great Georges Dumézil, his son has revealed it recently that people from goals, from goals of France, have joined the, the barbarian from Germany. So it's it's uh, you know a barbarian invasion. It's a little bit before the Vikings, but it was already the same. Pierre, it was already the the brave men uh, that united themselves uh, between uh, between different nations, but they have uh, been uh, together against uh, the the empire yes. against enslavement. This is something we need to do again. Can you tell us where can we find your book and wh what is your website and uh, channel? Yes, of course. So uh, you will find, you're going to find this book on Amazon. So okay. Amazon uh, in Europe. I will, course, put link. I will put the link. Probably in the US. Uh, but in Europe for sure, UK, uh, in the US soon probably. My website is very simple to find. It's... Uh, Double language English and French without my uh, lot of mistake. I'm sorry. Um, it's tr it's translated uh, pagans.eu pagans.eu and so my YouTube channel, of course, uh, my YouTube channel is uh, Pagans TV. Okay. And um, so I um, I invite uh, you uh, your followers to watch. Uh, the, the the first full English video that uh, I will uh, I will post it's um it's the hidden genocide uh, that launched the Viking invasion. So this video is really uh, important. It's the real um, reason why the Viking have made their invasion. It's full English. Um, so. Uh, uh, if you can uh, watch this, if you have 10 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, I think you, you will spend a good moment and learn uh, a few things. I will do that. I'll put the link below. Oleg, thank you very much. And uh, I thank encourage you, yeah. everyone to, to check it out. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. And so uh, see you later. And thanks for your, your great job also.